Chef Rob here again with another installment of our Discovery Kitchen, and we wanted to feature and showcase another recipe that we're serving in our Parkway School Districts um, that's fun. It's a little bit complex, but don't let it intimidate you. It's our curried pasta chicken salad um, that we serve as a, a side dish to our entree selections. Um, you can also incorporate this recipe at home, whether it be for a side dish for dinner, taking it to barbecues this fall, or um, incorporate your own proteins in it. You can make it vegetarian, but we wanted to provide you some ideas and showcase some of the culinary talent that we have within the district. The first step of our recipe today is we're gonna toss a little bit of our spaghetti noodles in with some fresh squeezed lemon juice. This is gonna do two things. It's gonna add a little bit of acid to our recipe, which will add a beautiful brightness to the dish and really help distinguish those individual flavor profiles throughout. Also, it's gonna keep our pasta from sticking together. So as opposed to incorporating olive oils or other fats onto our noodles to keep them from sticking, we found that lemon juice is a great alternative to solve this issue we were having. Into the same mixing bowl, we're gonna put our yogurt option that'll serve as the base sauce for our pasta salad. And then we'll add our curry powder to season the yogurt before we toss all of our ingredients and combine. Now, although this is a curried chicken salad, there's plenty of other options you can incorporate into the yogurt here. If you were more accustomed to using a barbecue spice, a Chinese five spice, or a low sodium lemon pepper, these would also be good substitutions for our yogurt. Using the chicken that we've pre-grilled off, we'll toss that in our sauce. And it's a great way to use up some leftovers in the fridge if you were making a chicken and pasta dish the night before and you had some leftover cooked off spaghetti noodles and some leftover chicken and you were looking for a wonderful way to utilize these products. This is a great way to incorporate them into your menu for the next couple of days at home. We're gonna put in some small diced red peppers here we're using a roasted red pepper. You could also use a raw red bell pepper if you'd like. Adds a beautiful bright vibrance to it and that red really complements all the other components of the dish together. Next, we have our peeled and small diced cucumber. We'll toss in there together. Adds a very, very nice smooth flavor to the dish. A nice little crunch, a nice little texture and really ties everything together very nicely. Now we're gonna add a little bit of cilantro, another depth of flavor, adds a nice, beautiful green color to it and herbaceousness. We're gonna reserve just a little bit of that cilantro and we'll save that to use as our final garnish once the dish is complete. Finished up with those spaghetti noodles that have been tossed in a little bit of that lemon juice. And then we will mix everything together and bring all the components of that pasta salad. So the noodles are tossed in the sauce. We've got our cucumbers, our roasted red peppers, and our chicken evenly distributed out through that entire dish. As you can see, it's coming together very, very nicely and looking beautiful and vibrant. When we're serving it in our school districts, what we do is we like to put it in a smaller container. That's the way it's an easy grab and go option for the students. You could do this if you were packing a picnic lunch or taking it on the go or just putting it in a large serving vessel if you're bringing it over to a friend's house or if you're serving it for your family at dinner. Curry chicken pasta salad is all finished up. It looks exquisite. It's got beautiful colors, beautiful flavors. Um, please look forward to it in your cafeterias. Uh, give it a try. Make it at home with your friends and family. And please look out for our next October edition of the Discovery Kitchen uh, cooking presentations.